and thank you for joining me here in Norfolk today. My name's Holly and this behind me is Buckingham Lodge. Now Fine and Country have invited me here today to take a look around this Victorian three bedroom converted church right in the centre of the pretty market town of Fakenham. Now these original windows are really drawing me in. I need to get inside so let's go. <music> Wow. Now, these vaulted ceilings and these beautiful beams really do make an impact as soon as you walk into the property. The first thing I notice is actually how light and bright it is in here. And that's, of course, thanks to the huge windows, one behind me and one in front of me. When the owners bought this property, they refurbished all of the windows. So there's handmade carbon fibre and actually 275 panes of glass throughout the property. This home was built in 1908, originally as a Methodist church to replace a chapel that was over the road. It was built by Augustus Frederick Scott, and he was an architect who built lots of buildings, including in the nearby Cromer. There is so much history throughout this property, but I think for me, my favourite little slice of knowledge is, if you just look closely, all of these bees everywhere. Now, the reason for this is because when the owners bought the property, there were 75,000 bees living in the walls. Now, they were all rescued, but everywhere you look, you might notice a little bee. There is loads of storage in this kitchen, including a pantry and lots of cabinetry. Now, I actually love the colour of these cabinets, this deep and elegant blue. And actually, if you look up, it actually ties in with the colour of the beams, something really nice and subtle that I think finishes the room really nicely. There are built-in appliances, including this coffee machine. And actually on the topic of coffee, there is an entire drinks section here, which is perfect for entertaining. You can store all of your wine here. You've got a separate sink with a quicker hot water tap. So really all of your drinks needs are met in this section. The sheer scale of this room is really quite special. You can definitely tell that it's a church conversion with the high ceilings and the beams, but it's been really cleverly retained. There's so much character in here. The space has been split into three areas with the kitchen, a dining area, and then this Art Deco inspired seating area. Everything can be reconfigured and the owners actually tell me that recently they hosted a dinner party for 22 of their friends and family. All of the little injections of blue everywhere are really giving me seaside vibes. Now I'm actually local to the area, so I drive right through Fakenham to get to my favourite beach, which is Wells next to the sea. Located just 10 short miles from the sea, this property is perfect for lovers of both the coast and the countryside. Nearby, Wells Next to the Sea boasts award-winning beaches and offers scenic walks in all seasons. Here, you are greeted with a row of colourful and quintessentially British beach huts, many of which are managed by the Happy Huts Company. Ideal to rent for the day to enjoy a family day out, with or without the dog. In the summer, seals can be found basking on the sandbanks here, and there are even daily boat tours that can take you out to sea to discover them in the waters. At the heart of Wells lies the quay. With salt marshes and a harbour, this is the perfect base for fishing enthusiasts, as well as those looking to venture into the town or take a leisurely boat ride from the harbour. The property is located in Fakenham, a traditional working market town and the largest town in North Norfolk. Famous for its market and places of historical interest, Fakenham offers an abundance of notable buildings to discover. Each Thursday, the town becomes a hive of activity, with a market in the centre selling local produce as well as arts and crafts. This has been a tradition since the 13th century. 
There are plenty of shops, both independent and larger recognisable names, as well as cafes and pubs, perfect for a spot of lunch or great to take your guests for an evening meal, some even within walking distance of your front door. Leading out from the kitchen, there is this really nice courtyard garden area. Well landscaped, loads of areas for sitting. I can imagine myself taking my morning coffee out here. There's also plenty of solar powered lights, so you can entertain your guests out here well into the evening. There is also direct access from the back of the property into the garden from the driveway. On the ground floor, as well as the kitchen come dining area, there is two guest bedroom suites. Now, this first one is known as the gentleman's suite. It's neutral in its design and it has a dressing area as well as a lovely ensuite. This second bedroom is known as the ladies suite and it is French in its inspiration for its design. Again, another ensuite and lovely little dressing area in here. Now, I didn't think I would be showing you a bookcase on this tour, and yet here we are. This one behind me hides a little bit of a secret. Inconspicuously positioned at the end of the hallway behind a secret door, this laundry room offers the perfect solution for storing white goods and appliances. There is a door leading to three undercrofts from the original cottages that stood here in the 1800s before the erection of the church. On this floor, there is also a guest WC. We're on the first floor now, where the entire floor is taken up by this wonderfully large master bedroom suite. There are solid wood doors to this room and to every room, in fact, in this property. They have been completely restored back to their original state. And then just here, this stonework is giving us a glimpse into what's on offer upstairs. The decor in this bedroom is really quite understated, however I love that they've chosen to bring in the pops of blue to really tie in with everything going on downstairs, particularly in this wallpaper which is giving me kind of renaissance vibes. Now all of the furniture as well has been really carefully chosen to fit in with the character of the property. Just behind this wall is actually a part of the bedroom that I personally would get the most use out of. There is so much space in here. I think even I would struggle to fill it. I love that there are different sections so that you can have an area for yourself, an area for your partner. There's also lots of floor space, which means that you actually can get dressed in here, making it the perfect walk-in wardrobe. Leading off this area is the master ensuite. As soon as you enter this master ensuite, you're greeted by this freestanding roll top bath, which is my dream bath. And actually I have to say, the decor is really to my taste as well. I love this patterned flooring, really synonymous with this design of bathroom. However, I like that they've actually contrasted with these marble effect wall tiles as well. In this bathroom, we also have a walk-through rainfall shower. I think it's great that you have the option of either bath and shower all in this large ensuite. This sink behind me, I've been told by the owners, is an original Victorian sink, which has been reclaimed especially for this room. Now that we've seen all of the bedrooms in this property, everything they have to offer, let's go upstairs to the final floor. Up on the second floor now and we are met with even more history. I'm told that this step just here, solid wood, original and actually would have been where the choir sat behind the priest back when this was a church a hundred years ago. I just love the height in this room. It makes it feel like there is so much space in here. But obviously the main feature is the original stone arch overhead, which we got a glimpse of downstairs, but it's great to see its full glory here. And other original features in this room, such as the panelling, that was brought from the front of the church and they brought it here to create a bespoke minster gallery overhead, which I think just looks great over the top of this gorgeous fireplace. 
This area up here is split into two distinct sections. We've got the seating area at the front and then just behind me is a lovely little home office. Now I love that you can open up this area, have people socialising while you're sat at the back or of course you can kick them out downstairs and put them in the other reception room. So you've probably noticed how light and bright it is up here and that's actually thanks to all of the windows in this room. Now, some of them are the originals that have been restored, but there is also a couple of new additions, including the picture windows behind me, and there's also two Velux windows just above. Now, you're probably thinking, how do I reach up there? <laughs> well, they're actually solar powered and automatic, so as soon as it starts raining, they will automatically be closed. <laughs> So there we have it, a Victorian church converted into the perfect home for entertaining. Now, I have to say my favourite part of the tour was actually this open plan kitchen. I really like the idea of hosting a massive dinner party in here. I've loved touring this property and if you have as well, please like and comment on this video. Let me know what you want to see next. Subscribe to the Fine & Country YouTube channel and that way you won't miss a single tour. Oh, 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 oh,